Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product every day series. Today I am really excited to try out another one of the Araceli Aztec Eyes Con Agave Eyeshadow Duos. So last month in my July 2021 Ipsy Glam Bag, I got one of these little eyeshadow duos and I loved it. I'll actually have my review video of that linked in the description down below if you want to check it out. But I forgot that I had redeemed Ipsy Points for pretty much the same product but in two different shades. And after trying that product and realizing how much I loved it, I'm actually so excited that I got a second one and really excited to try this out. So the shades in this little duo are Sun and Cacao. It's cruelty free, vegan, and it has agave in it, which I just think makes these so creamy, blendable. And so here are the shades that you get in this, and I'm really excited about these shades because these look like two go-to essential shades for me. So first I wanna go ahead and swatch both of them. Yeah, like these Araceli eyeshadows have such buttery textures. And like this is a perfect brown for that crease shade, which I like to just do a crease shade even if I'm not doing an eyeshadow look. I think it really helps emphasize the eyes and this is a perfect shade to do that with. And then a little highlight shade, which inner corner, brow highlight is another just even if I'm not doing any other type of eyeshadow, this is a great shade for that. So I love that this little duo has two just very essential shades in it. So I'm gonna try and do a full eyeshadow look with these anyways, even though I was just describing the like kind of outside of the eyelid look that I would do with these. But I am gonna try this out with and without an eyeshadow primer. So of course, just like always, Going in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion on just one of the eyelids. And then I'm just gonna blend this all over the lid. And going up onto the brow bone as well, since I'm also gonna use this as a brow highlight. And speaking of brow highlight, let's jump right into that. And I'm just gonna use my finger to do it. And I'm gonna pick up some of the, this one must be called Sun. And just apply that right under the brow. Very pretty, it's looking golden. Has some nice shimmer shine to it. Does a good job of emphasizing the brow and then let's see how brightening it is for that inner corner oh yeah that is a nice shade for the inner corner definitely has a really nice brightening effect on the eye versus without it and you saw just how quickly I went in and did that little eye highlight routine, which is so easy to do <laughs> with this little duo. Also next, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the cacao shade into the crease and show you just like how a very minimal eyeshadow look would be with these two shades, but then I'll continue adding to it. So now picking up a little bit of kickback there in the cacao shade and blending this right into the crease. It immediately has a really good pigment and is nice and blendable. But I like to just throw in a matte brown shade like this, even a bronzer I'll throw into the crease like this, just very quickly easily and I just feel like it helps add a little emphasis to the eye a little contour it helps enhance my eye shape so if you can see the difference with it versus without it it's so natural but I just feel like it makes such an improvement 
to my eye look, my eye makeup, but it's almost like you can't even tell the difference between the two eyes if you didn't know that it was the bronzer in the crease. So I just love that little trick. So this right here, the little brow highlight, which I always do the brow highlight before the crease because now the brow highlight is perfectly blended into the shape right above the eyeshadow in the perfect shape rather than going on top of my eyeshadow that I just blended out with a highlighter and kind of covering up the blending that I did with the crease shade. So very simple, but kind of an everyday eyeshadow look for me. <laughs> so this really is such a perfect little duo to just throw into my purse, a little travel bag. It won't take up really any space at all. And I'll have my quick, easy daily eyeshadow shades. And seriously, so easy to blend. The perfect brown matte neutral shade that really does create that little like contour shadow to the eyes. Love that. So now I wanna try something a little different with these shades to see if I can amp up the eyeshadow look using these two shades. So what I wanna do is deepen the brown in the outer corner and to get as much pigment payoff as possible, I'm gonna pick it up with my finger and I think that's gonna give me the darkest brown that I can get from this, which actually, yeah, I think that will work because I like to put a darker brown in the outer corner to lift the eye and create a little bit more of a smoky eye, cat eye effect. And I like this. Yeah. Ooh, I think we're gonna be able to create a complete day to night eyeshadow tutorial <laughs> using just these two shades that really you can get in like almost every eyeshadow palette. Like I'm sure you already have a medium matte brown and a light shimmery shade in an eyeshadow palette. So you can create this with whatever you have. And then I'm just blending out the edges because when I apply an eyeshadow to the outer corner with my finger, I feel like it's always a little bit messy. So I like to just take the brush and diffuse out the edges there. But I really like that. See, you could actually stop right here and you have a little bit more of a glam eyeshadow look. Maybe this is more of like a amped up daytime look. But then to just finish off the glam eyeshadow, maybe add a little bit more shimmer to make it more of that nighttime look. I'm gonna pick up the shade Sun with my finger and apply it to the inner half of the eyelid. Ooh, so pretty. It looks so nice and bright. Ooh, Sparkle and these two shades look so perfect and cohesive together. I wasn't sure if this would work on the eyelid the way I was hoping, but it is actually exceeding my expectations. I think this looks so pretty and perfect as a glam eyeshadow look as well. And a very easy to wear neutral glam look that would go with pretty much any lip color, outfit, color. Like, I'm obsessed with this little duo and it's such a simple little palette. And I only took one brush and then I just use my fingers for the rest of it. So the easiest day to night eyeshadow tutorial ever. And just picking up that brush once again and making sure it's all blended out in the crease there. And one last little touch. 
is for that lower lash line, I actually want to mix the two shades together. So I'm going to pick the pick up the matte brown and the shimmery shade. And I'm going to blend this along the lower lash line to just pull the whole look together. And I really like putting a brown shimmer on my lower lash line on a daily basis, just an everyday, even like daytime type of eye makeup look because it helps enhance the eye. Like it's still subtle, but I think you can see the difference with it versus without it. And I love that it's not too dark at all on the lower lash line, so it helps keep the eye open, bright and awake. <laughs> Gosh, I am loving my eye makeup right now. And it only took these two shades. Wow. So here you can see the finished eyeshadow look. And so this is the eye with the primer. This is the eye without the primer. The eye with the primer looks a little bit brighter where I applied the highlighter, just a little bit shimmerier, more, more shimmery <laughs> compared to without it, but it's still a very minimal difference. Like you can't even really notice. No creasing on the eye with the primer. No creasing on the eye without the primer either. So, wow. I love the formula of these, so easy to work with, and like I said, perfect color combination. So I am so happy with this. I think this is an Ipsy exclusive because this is just a little sample size, but if you see it in Ipsy, I highly recommend it. You can get so much use out of it, such great formulas. And if you have tried this out, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. I would also be so curious if anyone has tried any of the other shades of this, what your thoughts are on it. So definitely let me know in the comments about those as well. And if you have any recommendations for other shades that I should try. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.